check my leg, check my leg. The first time I played was with my youth group in like 99, something like that. And ever since then, it's just like, whenever it's nice or I have the money, uh, of course with the team, it's different, but I mean, it's better than just sitting around and not doing nothing. Right, Alex! At the beginning of the game, when it starts, I mean, you're just like, I gotta shoot right here, I gotta shoot this guy out, especially for me. I try to make sure the guy doesn't get in the snake on this field. If he gets in that snake and he goes all the way down, and he's just gonna shoot all my guys in the back. So you get a huge run on the rest of the venue, you're just gonna make sure your gun's spot on, you're shooting where you need to be shooting. Uh, definitely during the game, there's a lot going on. We're trying to communicate to each other how many people we have on the opposite team that are eliminated, how many guys we have left alive, where people are on the field. And sometimes it gets really confusing because some guys on our team will already be halfway down the field and we won't know about it, or we won't know how many bodies they have left on the other side. And so it's a little confusing, but uh, we try to keep the communication clear and clean. And uh, it seems to be working right now. I mean, we've gone six and two. So, uh, so it's five and five. Uh, obviously, eliminations are key, but the big thing is getting the flag it's out of the center of the field and taking it to where they start from their starting box when you hang it. And that's how you end the game. Usually, it's 99% of the time you got to shoot all five people to get it done. People have done it where they ran through and grabbed it and hung it anyway with somebody on the other team alive. But usually, it's just eliminate the five guys, get the flag, hang it without getting shot, and uh, during the time finish. Honestly, like what I was doing that last one, I delayed. By the time they turn their guns off, you can just book it out to either Rocky if you start taking heat, or just keep going all the way to the uh, corner. No. If, if I'm in, if I'm in RG2, I can't see their D1. Or their well, after the game, like if people have been shot out of their bunkers or shot off the break, we try and figure out like, okay, what did they do wrong? What can we do to fix that? Do we need to change up where people go off the start of the game? Um, if it's just like a stupid mistake someone's made, like we get it in our heads that like, okay, can't make those stupid mistakes anymore. And then normally after we have those talks, our next game we do fine. I think uh, the last game we played, we went uh, five and zero. Oh. I wish I <laughs> He's was. He's just short. Not near. I'm horizontally. All right. Yeah, that's good. Good. Woo! We hang out before games. We. We go everywhere together for the most part. We go out to eat. Uh, we have team meetings together. We hang out on the weekends. We hang out during the week if no one has homework. It's actually it's becoming more of a family than it is a team. Right now we got ten guys. We all hang out. Like both team. Granted, it's two teams, but we keep, it's very close uh, relationship-wise. I mean, everyone gets along. No one despises or dislikes anyone else. So I think it's a really good combination of guys we have for this season.